Welcome to this latest version of Mahara, Mahara 2104, released on the 30th of April 2021. I'm Christina Hoppner, the project lead of the open source portfolio platform Mahara, and will introduce some of the new features to you. While the majority of the work was done by the Mahara project team, Catalyst IT in Tevanganui at Tara, Wellington, Many other community members were involved in the design and development of new features and the translation that we can present to you. Individuals and organizations contributed their time and expertise or funded the development of new functionality and bug fixes. Massive thanks to all of them. New features were funded by Catalyst IT, Capital and Coast District Health Board, Learning Works and Pharmacy Council, all in Aotearoa, Switch, NZHAW in Switzerland, and Universität Bremen in Germany. The focus of this release is on organizations and their use of portfolios at a large scale. A number of challenges are involved there that have to be mastered. Amongst them, the automatic provisioning of templates to many people at once and on a schedule, the management of submissions, reporting around portfolio completion and the possibility to adjust the default configuration through site options. As usual, we improved the usability of Mahara by adjusting functionalities and workflows to get certain actions done more intuitively. Let's take a look at some of these new features. Many of them have a lot of settings and options that will be detailed in the Mahara manual. Portfolio Submission Management When you have a large class and ask every learner to submit their portfolio, the Submission Management page is a great assistant. It allows you to access all portfolios from one central place. You can search for a particular portfolio owner or title, assign and filter for assessors who are either group tutors or group administrators, access the portfolios and also assess them from this page. This new feature ties in with the portfolio submission to groups and can also be used well with group plans that allow you to create tasks that have associated portfolios for learners to choose from. Access to an archive of submissions for group administrators. As group administrator, you can access all submissions made to a group via a report that allows you to download details about the submission via CSV as well as the submission itself. Portfolio review. Portfolio review blocks are placed onto the portfolio completion page to allow for an overall statement or feedback. For example, as institution administrator, you create a certification portfolio in which all pages have a sign-off block and use the portfolio completion page as overview page. You then turn the collection into a template. That locks all instructions from editing when someone copies the portfolio and also prevents portfolio authors from editing the review blocks on the portfolio completion page. Now you add a couple of review blocks to the portfolio completion page. The first one contains a primary statement. This is used for reporting purposes. Other statements are not tracked. The statement can also have a comment for feedback, but it can also stay on its own. The name of the reviewer can be displayed and when the statement has been confirmed, the portfolio is locked from editing. Next, you decide who shall be able to confirm their statement and whether a notification is to be sent to the portfolio author when the statement was confirmed. When you add the primary statement to a page, you see that it looks visually different from the other blocks to stand out. Let's also put a review comment block onto the page. This time, the reviewer's name is not going to be shown and a review cannot be made before mid-year. This allows you to share portfolio with a group, for example, and not know who is the reviewer. As portfolio author, you copy this collection or automatically receive it into your account. Then share your portfolio with the reviewer clicking the Manage Access link in the More Options button, also a new feature, on every page when in display mode. As a reviewer, you browse the portfolio and then confirm your statement. Since the configuration option to lock a page was selected, the page cannot be edited anymore. 
Remove yourself from a portfolio. If you do not want to have access to a portfolio anymore that was shared with you personally, you can remove yourself from it. A notification is sent to the portfolio author. Delete the collection and all its pages. When you have a portfolio collection and wanted to delete all pages within it, you had to delete them one at a time. But no more. You can delete an entire collection, including its pages. Configurable Latest Changes Icon View Block Decide which portfolios shall appear in the Latest Changes Icon View Block on your dashboard. And decide more granularly whether you only want to see portfolios shared with you or also those shared publicly and with registered account holders. Configurable Peer Room By allowing the setting in your institution, peers can see the entire portfolio content and refer back to it rather than doing a blind review. These are but a few of the exciting new functionalities of Mahara 2104. You can access information about additional new features and bug fixes on our bug and wishlist item tracker. The new features and changes to existing functionality will be documented in the Mahara manual. We aim to update it in the month of May. Head on over to mahara.org slash download to get the new version of Mahara and install it on your server. We recommend you upgrade a testing instance first before upgrading your real site. Let us know what you think about the new features.